Let's go down the page for a second, see the kinds of things you might get if you were subscribed to these candidates. Right now you can see a lot of independent expenditures have been filed by the Arizona Grassroots Action PAC, uh, filing money for and against Ann Kirkpatrick and John McCain. If you click in one of these items, you'll be taken to another ProPublica app, the FEC Itemizer. Now let's look at other races in Arizona and see what else we can find. But if you scroll down the feed, you can see other items in here besides independent expenditures. You can see here a 48-hour notice. 48-hour notices are notices of amounts over $200 taken in by a campaign within 20 days of an election. This was filed eight days ago, around the time that Arizona had its primary. You can click on other items, like miscellaneous notices, which are filed as Form F99 with the FEC. These are free text reports that the candidates file with the FEC, telling them extra information. Going back to the main feed, we have many more things than just campaign finance filings. For example, we check Google Trends every hour to find where there's increased search interest, as shown over here. But also, when candidates spike in their search interest, which we describe as sustained and recent interest, you can see that information here. By clicking in here, you can see that Lou Correa, a candidate for California's 46th district, had a quick Google spike earlier in the day. We also have polls, as published by the Huffington Post Pollster API. Every time they put notification of a new poll into their API, we surface it here, where you can be one of the first people to see and report on the results. Another interesting piece of information that we surface are changes in Cook political report ratings. These are ratings saying whether races are more firmly Republican or Democratic. These ratings tell you whether a race leans more towards the Democratic candidate or a Republican candidate. You can see here by scrolling down the North Carolina feed that a few days ago, Cook actually changed the rating for North Carolina Senate from leans Republican to a toss-up. You can click into this item to see all of the ratings changes from the Cook political report, but if you notice something like that about a race that you're reporting on, that's a potentially newsworthy item. Finally, we have access to 538 election forecast data. This allows us to tell you anytime 538 revises its polls-only forecast for the presidential race.